What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Too Many CB, and we back with Saheed. We back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen, bro, specifically episode 19. Alright, so let me give you a little spoiler alert. It was heat. It was heat, bro. I know I'm not the only one that cried. <laughs> bro, I know I'm not the only one that cried at how beautiful that mess was. Studio Mappa, I want to thank you. Your mother, your father, and everyone you love for giving us this heavenly gift. Thank you. Really, the art was beautiful, as always, and the animation of this episode took a step I definitely didn't think was even possible. During the battle with the curse, the moment where Yuji and Toto are running along its wood, pause, <laughs> along the tree thing, that fluidness of the animation, it made me cry a little like a true weeb, I ain't even gonna lie. And you guys might think I'm crazy for that, but it's just the way the camera was flowing around them, like tracing their movements. The only other series that I could say I've seen do something like that is Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. And that's an impressive comparison because both are beautiful series. Especially when you consider the fact that Demon Slayer predominantly became popular based off of its animation style and art. But on another note, the relationship I see they're building between the two of them has got me excited for sure. Toto being somewhat of a mentor figure and a rival to Yuji will bring a different aspect I don't think we've seen. You guys know we've dealt with the Naruto and Sasuke, the Goku and Vegeta, and yeah, that's about it. Any other duo, bro, they're just copycats, let's be real. Unless you guys can name one for me. If you can't, hey, leave it in the comments or something. But We've seen those different relationships, but from what I see is going on between those two, this is going to be something different. And when you think about the fact that you can't forget Fushi Girl, Fushi Girl is supposed to be like his Yuji's main counterpart, his Sasuke, you feel me? <laughs> so there's definitely more to come with his character. This was already strongly hinted at in a prior episode where Sukuna was basically saying like, yo, my boy, why'd you run from that special grade? You could have beat that boy ass. And I, <laughs> I don't know what Fushi Guru got, but yo, there's a lot more to come for sure. So with that said, I can't wait to see what he's going to bring to the mix. With all this excitement, it makes me kind of sad to say that this first season is coming to a close soon. But if all seasons are going to be this heat, I think it's all going to be worth it in the end. I'm glad this manga series has this well-deserved, seemingly perfect adaptation. We've already seen in the past many, many series get the shaft by their respective studio. I'm still salty about what TV Tokyo did to Tokyo Ghoul, and now what they're doing to Boruto. Guys, I know this is about Jujutsu Kaisen, but yo, don't sleep on Boruto. The Boruto manga is getting better and better by each chapter. You're gonna want to catch up to it right now, I'm telling you, I promise. That's going to be the end of today's video. Like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.